Well, hey there, folks. Welcome back to 310's Ranch here on Midwest Horizons. This is my 10,000 cow challenge. So, we're here in September, the first part of September. We are going to play two day seasons on this uh, playthrough. And, well, we're not too far past the time of the last episode. See here on the back of the pickup truck, I have a few pallets of mineral feed. We're getting that loaded into the mixer. All right, got that in. Uh, thank you guys for the feedback on the issue with the digestate there at the BGA. Had a lot of good suggestions. Got to looking at some things, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to try to turn some of it into solid fertilizer. So we're going to work on that. However, I need some cash. <laughs> Story of my life. Need some cash. Oh, and before we go any further, happy Easter. Today uh, is Easter. If you celebrate that, happy Easter. If not, I hope you have a blessed day anyway. Uh, it's a special day for me and my faith, so uh, we're celebrating it with family and enjoying that and the meaning it has in my life. So hopefully you guys have a great Easter. So we're here at the mixer, and I do want to say a special thank you, a shout out to Miles Brush 4863. You're the man. That's why. <laughs> You're the man. He mentioned that this mixer actually accepted bells. Now, I don't know, I can't remember if I tried it, I couldn't get it to uh, take bells, or just what happened. Uh, but this, this, mixer the uh, food mixer here actually takes bells I uh, did test it out drop one in here and lo and behold it did accept it so that problem is solved now will it take alfalfa bells I don't know but it will take hay bells for sure so that is a great thing I can drop the bells off here uh, if I need to and it will convert it into loose and voila we can make some TMR automatically. So what are we going to do? You see it's 1057 AM. I need some cash. I am just under $70,000 and let's hop over here to the BGA. Uh, I do have some more grass. You see uh, just under 300,000 liters. Uh, they're uh, going through the fermenter. Uh, over here on the BGA, we've got quite a bit of electric charge and methane stored up. Now I'm going to change the output mode to selling. I was storing it, uh, just kind of hold on to it to see what we could get out of it. So we've got quite a bit, so we're going to let that sell. I think that should sell at the top of the hour, so we're going to let that happen. Uh, so what we're going to do real quick is, while well, the time is ticking, we're going to grab a trailer. I think I actually have the forage wagon over here beside the fermenter. And we're going to bring some silage over to that mixer we're going to go ahead and start mixing up some tmr because as we've played through this i've realized that the cows well they're just not happy without tmr i uh, don't know if that's just the way the game is set up or the the map i'm not real sure but that's just how it is so <laughs> we're going to make some tmr and feed to our cows at least some of them the older ones that are making milk so we're going to do that uh, hopefully you get their output of milk a little bit higher make them happy make them produce a bit more so that's what we're going to try to do uh, we're going to let that hopefully so we're just under 70,000 we should tick over matter of fact let me speed up time just a little bit here since we are playing with two day seasons and matter of fact let's go to 3x let's play at 3x I don't know <laughs> how that's going to work we may have to adjust but we'll move along. Ooh, look at that. Oops. 223,000. So that was a nice little deposit there from the BGA power output. So I'm going to leave that now going forward. The methane and the... Oh, what is it? The I was just there. I can't remember. Methane and electric charge. <laughs> there we go. We're going to leave that at selling going forward. We're going to fill up this wagon here with uh, the silage. We'll bring it over and get that into the mixer, get that going. And we're going to move over to the BGA because I want to put in a digestate dryer. 
and that is going to dry the dust digestate make for, uh, solid fertilizer uh, there's two mods that I found uh, one of them was a two to one ratio it didn't hold a whole lot right? matter of fact I actually used that one on my Stone Valley series uh, two to one seems a little much so uh, I didn't I didn't want to go that route so I ended up going with a different one I found I believe it's a 10 to 1 ratio so that seems a little bit more plausible I guess all right let's unload this here and that will unload rather quickly while that's doing its thing let's move over here to our mixer in the production so we do have straw hay silage and mineral feed all in there we don't have a whole lot of mineral feed we may have to go grab some more but let's go ahead and activate this and let it start cranking out some TMR and I'm just going to leave that tractor right there and I need to find my cemetery <laughs> semi truck uh, and this is my slurry tanker so we're going to use this for our digestate oh, let me go over to the right side and jump in all right, we're going to head on over to BGA. All right, that was a quick trip. So let's go ahead and open up the build menu here and go to productions. And this is the item I was going to use. Uh, it is a digestate fertilizer factory. And we're going to put it down here at the BGA. Figured that was a good place to put it. Uh, you know, I need to put it where we can get to it. Uh, I wonder. Let me turn on the triggers, because I don't know where the triggers are on this particular uh, mod. There we go. Okay, so at each end. So let's actually just stick it out somewhere out here where we can drive around. Let's see. You know what? I need to go good like that. Uh, let's see. You know what? Let's stick it back out here in the back. That'll work. Right there. All right. Looks good. Uh, I believe this first trigger right here should be where we will fill up our digestate. Let's just see if we get that trigger. There we go. Yep, there we go. All right, so we're filling up the tanker. And what we're going to do is bring it over. And let's just take a look at that in the menu so we'll know what's going on. So that is the fertilizer factory. Uh, 10,000 liters of digestate makes 1,000 liters of solid fertilizer. Now the question is, do we have a place to sell it? Because I do want to use this as income. Uh, I've got a $10 million loan I need to pay back. So I've got to be creative. Uh, Digestate sells for 56. Selling, selling. Nobody's buying it. So we're, <laughs> we're going to have to put down and probably sell anything mod at some point so that we can get rid of the excess fertilizer. And this tanker holds quite a bit. I think it holds 100,000 liters, I believe. So I'm, the point of all of this is I'm trying to get a income stream going so we have the cows we have the slurry manure all of that that we can bring down here to the biogas plant we'll make some money off the the uh, electrical charge and methane that comes out of that production as well as converting this digestate to solid fertilizer and hopefully make more than just selling that the digestate as a raw product uh, yes, we could use it on the field as fertilizer too, uh, but I'm also trying to work toward efficiency here. We may use some of it on the fields, but I need to make things as easy as possible. And I did not leave myself much room to turn around here. All right, there we go, and we are in business. I'm going to turn this on. Uh, there we go. So activate it there. And I believe it processes pretty quick. 
So that should go rather quickly. So I'm going to, I think I have quite a bit more. Let's see. Yeah, 177,000 liters still in the, uh, the biogas plant. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that once this empties. And I'll go ahead and get that put in as well. And we'll let this thing chug along and see what happens. Well, all right, we are later in the day. And as you can see, it has started raining, which is going to make this interesting because I do have the, uh, the mud mod on this uh, save. And that will affect the, uh, <laughs> the traction in the field as the uh, dirt gets wet. We're going to lose traction. So I don't know. If we're going to get this field done today. We may lose traction. Might not be able to continue on. We shall see. Uh, as you see, I have uh, actually worked pretty good ways around this field. Done a lot of it myself, actually. I uh, just kind of wanted to enjoy driving the tractor. So I spent a little time doing some seeding. And it's been uh, quite therapeutic. So we got that done. Uh, filled up the seeder a couple times. A couple, three times, I think. So it is going through the seeds uh, pretty quickly. Uh, we are planting barley uh, in September. It's the, uh, that or canola. But what I wanted to do is plant something that we would get straw from. Because uh, we can use that either in the cows for their food, their bedding, or also at the biogas plant. We can use it to uh, mix with some of the recipes and make a little bit more money uh, from that process. So... I wanted the crop to grow to uh, to give us some straw, so that's why we're planting the barley. Could have waited one more month and planted wheat, but there's a reason I didn't. As you see in the field in front of us, can't really tell it. There you go. It's coming into view now. There's corn, and that corn should be ready to. Uh, well, we're going to chop it for silage next month so I figured we'd be busy in October with that activity so I didn't want to uh, have to worry about doing the seeding as well so we're going ahead and getting the barley planted now in the month of September uh, we'll hopefully get it done today uh, may go it may get too dark yeah, it may get too dark so we might have to roll into the second half of the uh, month of September to finish this up, not real sure. It all depends on whether I can keep going forward. Those tires are sinking. They're starting to sink in that mud. Ooh. We're, we're probably going to lose traction at some point. Probably so. But that's okay. We'll wait for it to dry out and continue on. So that's where we're at. Uh, but before we go show you something and what is going on I did put a cell point down a cell anywhere mod so that I'd have, I'd have a place to sell the solid fertilizer so I'm going to get a helper to just keep us going straight right there for now and let's take a look and see what's going on so we did put uh, food in the mixer and it is still working you see it's still blue there it's still going we are almost out of mineral feed, so that's going to shut off here pretty soon. Probably go run and grab some more of that so we can keep making. But you see we're up to uh, just over 90,000 liters of total mixed ration so far, so that's great. Uh, solid fertilizer, already at almost 7,000 liters. So that's fantastic. And you see I actually had that. Let's deactivate that. We were using up a little bit of slurry we had left, and you see the grass has finished we're up to uh, over a million liters of silage back up to over a million liters so we're going to deactivate what's out and let's look at our time saving stock check menu over here solid fertilizer about twenty thousand dollars worth already that is awesome that is going to make keeping uh, some income very good so that was I think a good call turning the digestate into solid fertilizer and we'll use that we'll use that to uh, make some money so that's gonna be great 
Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Milk. We're up to about 38,000 liters of milk. Well, 28,000 liters, which is valued at $38,000. So we'll sell that very soon. So, yeah, we're doing good. We've got things clicking along. We've got some money starting to trickle in. We still have some things we need to buy. And, of course, we're going to have to upgrade some things. Uh, for instance, this cedar. Uh, it's, it's doing well. It's doing great. The tank is a little small for this much land. Uh, the, the capacity seed, we just actually ran out of seeds there. So we do need to fill up again. Uh, that has posed a little bit of a, a problem, having to uh, keep that filled up. But I'm trying to make do for now. Uh, at some point, we may get a bigger cedar or get two of them. I don't know. Maybe that would work. Have uh, two or three of them running in the field. Uh, that might might be something we do. I don't know. We'll have to see how that goes. But yeah, so we're trying to keep this full and keep going with the, the uh, seeding here in this field. Uh, the weeds are not all being taken out. So we're going to have to do something with the weeds pretty quickly. I don't know why it does that. On some maps, I've noticed that the direct drill will actually take out the weeds. And in some, it doesn't. That's kind of strange. I hadn't figured out why it does that yet. But uh, that is what's happening here on Midwest Horizon, or at least this version of it. The weeds are not going away with the direct drill. Or it could be this mod. I don't know. Maybe it's just this particular mod. So, oh boy. You got loose on me. Got loose in the mud. Whew. <laughs> oh boy. Anyhow. That's going to do it for this episode. We've made it quite a bit of progress. Uh, hopefully things will continue on. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please be sure. And uh, remember to click that thumbs up button. And if you haven't done so already, I'd appreciate if you would subscribe to the channel. That helped me out a lot. Be sure to leave a comment. Uh, share my content with others on your social media. I'd appreciate that as well. Again, I hope each of you have a very blessed Easter. We'll see you back here next time.